I'm not happy. I got Mario 64 on the DS. What a fucking shitload of ass that thing is. I mean, you take everything special, right, about Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64, and you bit crunch it onto a DS screen. I mean, they just, they just ruined it. It's fucking horrible. Like, how do you take such a magnum opus that is Mario 64, the best video game ever to be released, and then you just ruin it? You just cover it in dog dookie. Like, it blows my mind. Like, what, what, were, what was Shigeru Miyamoto thinking? Like, what, what, genuinely, what was he thinking when he made this game? With his own two hands. Well, I guess it's time to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you know how the original Mario 64 has the title screen, you know, it has Mario's head on it. You can stretch it out, you can do whatever. Well, guess what the DS has? You got Mario's head, you go to, you go to, not there, you go to uh, tap on his head, and it does that. What kind of ass whoop is that? Like, this isn't even cool. All you're doing is drawing Mario's face and you're stretching the lines. It's really not that impressive. I mean, yeah, you have the option to draw. But, like, who would actually have fun with this? Like, look, I'm gonna draw... I'm gonna draw Luigi. Yeah, give him sunglasses and shit. Yeah. Give him a gun or something. Yeah, he looks so fucking badass. Okay, just want to give him uh, some finishing touches. Maybe give him some shading on the hat. You know, give him some shading there too. Oh shit, yeah, you run out of ink. What kind of bullshit is that? So you're only really limited to that much. This is all you get. You can't even fill in the whole screen with the amount of ink they give you. Enough of this. Just start the game like a normal person would. Let's wake Luigi up. This is one of the things about the game. They introduce new characters. Here I'm playing as Luigi. Now one thing you're going to notice immediately is how bit crunched the textures are. I mean, look at this. Would you want to play it? No, didn't think so. Let's go into Bob on Battlefield. For some reason, they thought it would be a good idea to add a run button. I mean, the original game didn't have that, so why does this one? I don't know. I guess they just put in for no fucking reason. Yeah. Welcome to Bob on Battlefield. You know, it amazes me how much this game reeks of pure ass. I mean, what was Miyamoto thinking when he made this game with his own two bare hands? It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, they made the Chain Chomp really big, which was never canon in Mario before. Chain Chomps were usually like the size of a Goomba. So, the signs tell me to go this way. But this is a Nintendo game, so I'm gonna choose my own damn way. I'm gonna go up this hill. Take a shortcut. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Get the fuck up there. Yeah. I'm dodging big bowling ball. Oh shit. Now I gotta go all the way back up again. Dodge the balls. Dodge the fucking... There we go. Yeah, that'll teach that to shit. Is this bomb defective? It's, it's not blowing up. Oh shit. Alright, let's just get some help. Did they really have to make it a heart? Why couldn't they just make it like every other Mario game? Why couldn't they just be like a mushroom or something? Alright, so now we gotta fight King Bob-omb. 
the first boss in the game. Man, this is sure gonna be really hard. Oh, what the fuck? That's not in the original game. What is this bullshit? I get fucking crushed? What happened to grab him by his ass? Oh, I gotta throw bombs at him. This isn't Mario 64. How did I pick up that bob on? Okay, we beat him. And we get the power star. Just like the original game. Totally. I'm playing as Luigi and I beat King bob on with his own bombs. Now I've showed you the first level, now I'm going to show you the last level. Come on Luigi, go up the fucking stairs. There you go. Also, for some reason when they advertise this game, they constantly push the, you know, the, the uh, screen on the bottom, the touch screen, they advertise that shit so fucking much. Even Bowser mentions it. Okay, let's go in and fight Bowser. What the fuck is this? Even though I've lost this many power stars, Mario is the only one I can call my rival. No one else matters. Now scram. Hold on. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. What a load of fucking ass. So, unfortunately, I can't show you the ending of the game because I don't have Mario unlocked. And what, what do you do when you don't have Mario unlocked? Well, you can't do fucking anything. You can't beat Bowser, you can't save the princess, everyone's trapped in the walls, game over. You fucking suck. That might as well be what the game tells you. So, since I don't have Mario, I guess that's it. This game tried so fucking hard to beat the original, but in doing so, they made it a clusterfuck of a mess. They sh like, how did they fuck up so bad? It's such a shitty fucking game, not to mention the fucking D-pad, because guess what? Newsflash, Mario 64 was not built to be played with a fucking D-pad. So, they already kicked themselves in their ass with that fucking shit. Anyway, I'm the slightly agitated home video reviewer. And this was Mario 64 on the fucking DS. Fuck you.